This is RAF Fairford and preparations are underway for the Royal International Air Tattoo. As well as all the ground displays, there'll be large numbers of aircraft put through their paces. One of the most eagerly anticipated is the US Air Force F-22 Raptor and that's because it's never been seen in Europe before. We've been able to film some pictures of it as it was put through its rehearsal. While we look at those, let's talk to Captain Michael Trujillo, who's one of the Raptor pilots. Firstly, why is this such a special aircraft as far as you're concerned? It actually is an evolution beyond what has been done before. Uh, you're going to be able to see some of the great aspects of that. The first being uh, the super maneuverability of the aircraft. Uh, when it takes off, we have thrust vectoring and a fully digital flight control system, which allows the aircraft to maneuver in things that a pilot by himself could not be able to hold. The thrust is outstanding on this jet. It's about 35,000 pounds of thrust per motor, giving us an extremely high thrust-to-weight ratio. You'll see the jet accelerate as he's climbing directly through the vertical. In addition to that, we have the ability to supercruise, which is the ability to go supersonic without using our afterburners, giving us a lot longer legs, but being able to get everywhere we want to be as quickly as possible. And finally, the one thing that we're really known for is being the stealth fighters, the stealth capabilities, allowing us to run around in the airspace unabated, uh, first look, first shot, first kill. What does that mean in terms of comparisons to other stealth aircraft? How much has this advanced? The one big difference is the fact that we are now putting on a fighter platform, which allows us to go out there and take on other advanced adversary aircraft, as opposed to being purely a get into the airspace, uh, drop our weapons and come back out. We're actually now an offensive capability as well in the air-to-air -air regime. For you as a pilot, what's it like being in this aircraft flying it? Oh, it's an absolute dream. I actually have to pinch myself every day when I go to work. Uh, it, really think about it, I flew F-16s for two years before uh, coming over to the Raptor and still fairly new in the community, a lot to learn. But it's like turning in a Mustang for a Ferrari. This jet, uh, they took all the best benefits of the uh, F-16, the F-15, and all the other advanced fighters and brought it into a single airframe. And it really, you can't even compare it. It's a, it's a kick in the pants every day. Now, you've touched on it there already, but as technology advances, how much of a change, of a transformation is it for you as a pilot to learn to fly a new aircraft, to make that transition from uh, one type to a newer development? The flying itself, uh, flying is flying. You know, pull back on the stick, nose goes up, push down, nose goes down, push forward, you get more power back. The big difference is the fact there's so many integrated avionics. The aircraft takes all the sensors, and the jet has numerous sensors on there that gathers all kinds of data and puts it into a single integrated picture. So in previous airframes, you had a radar and different systems that you had to look at each one of those and build the picture in your brain. This jet displays it to you and allows us to think more strategically, thinking two or three maneuvers down. I want to do this, and that's going to lead me to this next move, this next move. And it, it's a complete transformation. It really is. We have to change the way we're thinking to fight this jet. It's really going to be the next evolution the way we fight wars. It's uh, really great. Uh, we always joke around that uh, we don't want to win wars 51 to 49. We want to win 100 to 0, and this jet's going to be what's going to allow us to to do that. Captain Michael Trujillo, thank you very much indeed. Captain Trujillo, one of the pilots of the Raptor, one of the aircraft that will be on display here at the Royal International Air Tattoo.